Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install HR New Beginnings. This is a really cool mod pack that's almost like a vanilla plus mod pack. And what that means is it takes the vanilla aspects of Minecraft and it keeps them there and they're in their base form. But then it adds in new biomes and tools and weapons and technology and things like that that kind of add to the Minecraft experience. It's a great mod pack to jump into. If you're new to mod packs, you've never played with mod packs before, this is a great mod pack to jump into as well. So we're going to be going over exactly how to get this mod today. It's going to be gotten using the Curse Forge launcher. This is basically how all the popular mod packs these days, other than Feed the Beast and Technic mod packs, are gotten. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be going through how to do that with the Curse Words launcher today. First and foremost, though, we do have this from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. And you can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own HR a New Beginning server in just one click. Yes, Apex is one click installation of this mod pack, meaning you can get a server up and running and start playing with your friends very simply and very easily. Again, you can check out that in the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, Let's go ahead and get our mod pack up and running, specifically HR New Beginnings up and running, so you can play on a server or play with your friends, because you got to get the mod pack installed before you can do any of that. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's actually going to take you here. This is the official download page for Curse Forge. Once you're here, click on the Download for Windows button. This thing automatically in the bottom left, going to download the Curse Forge installer. It may have to be saved into the streamer screen on Mozilla Firefox, but you probably won't have to save it on Chrome. Now we minimize our browser. Here it is on my desktop. This isn't our desktop. It's going to be in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads. You'll have the downloads file folder here. Click on that, and then in here you will find Curse Forge. Drag it to your desktop for ease of use. Go ahead and double click on that installer, right like so, and it's going to go ahead and open up the Curse Forge installer. You will also be in installing Overwolf because they are the owners of Curse Forge and their app is needed in order to run Curse Forge, but it all installs with this one installer. Go ahead and click on the next button there, and then it's going to go ahead and ask you to create desktop icons and agree to their terms of service. Click next to there, and then it's going to go ahead and install, right? So it's now installing, kind of doing everything that it needs to do to get Curse Forge set up so you can install Minecraft mod packs, specifically the HR New Beginnings mod pack. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little jump cut until it's finished, and then I'll meet you once we open the app. So there we go. Curse Forge is now installed as well as Overwolf. We can click this launch button to launch it on up. You also have this desktop icon that you can cl click if for whatever reason that doesn't work, but it should. And now it's going ahead and launching Curse Forge for the first time. Once we're in here, we'll be able to click on Minecraft to get it set up and then install the mod pack. It's actually pretty simple from this point on. So nevertheless, here we are. It's loading into Curse Forge. Gives you this cool preloader looking thing. And then finally, it's going to go ahead and cut on into this. Now, you can go through this tutorial here if you want, kind of showing you around, but I'm going to skip that for now because we need to go ahead and click on Minecraft. Now, it says we already have a mod pack installed here. I don't like that. Let me see if I can go ahead and fix that real quick. It shouldn't have said that. There we go. And now my screen is like your screen will be when you first download Curse Forge. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on this Minecraft button there, that little Minecraft game. Right, like so. It's all grayed out, but that's okay. Click on that, and then it's going to open up this. Then you want to go ahead and click Continue, and it's going to install Minecraft for Curse Forge there. Now, let's go ahead and install this mod pack. To do that, we just want to click up here at the top in the search box and type HR and then New. And I'm sure if we hit Enter, there it is. HR New Beginnings, right, like so. Now, they did recently release HR New Beginnings too, but they're still supporting HR New Beginnings, so I don't know exactly how that works. But as you can see, this is a 1.15.2 mod pack that adds vanilla or adds the vanilla experience. Go ahead and click on the orange Install button on the right, and it's going to start installing. It's that easy that simple. Just search for it up here at the top and then click on the install button on the mod pack. Now we just have to do a little quick jump cut until it's installed and then I'll show you how to start playing it. Alright, so it is now installed. You know this because it's no longer got the loading icons and there's a big orange play button here. You can click that to start playing it, but you can also click back and go to mind mod packs. This is normally where your play new beginnings, right? So if we go ahead to the main menu here of Curse Forge and we click on Minecraft, it takes us right here where we can click this play button, this orange play button. Once you click on that, it's going to open up the Minecraft launcher. Now you will need to log into your Minecraft account, so let's go ahead and do that real fast. It's going to take it a second to open up, but we will need to log into our Minecraft account here in the Minecraft launcher. Now if you have a Microsoft login, you'll click there, Mojang, you'll click there, log on in, and then we will be done. So let's go ahead and do that real fast, and then we'll be finished. I said we finished, we're just getting started. Now we do have this, we can go ahead and dismiss that, whatever, but what we do have down here in the bottom left is new beginning. If this isn't here, close out of the Minecraft launcher and click play again. You don't have to log in every time, by the way. And now it's going to be their new beginnings. Now, you can just go ahead and click play, but if you do notice that it's freezing a lot on the, uh, you know, launch screen, it's going to freeze. But if it's freezing a lot and it crashes or something like that, most likely you need to add some more RAM. To do that, click on installations, come to this new beginnings tab, click on this three dots here, hit edit, and then you can click more options to add more RAM down here at the bottom. Now, by default, it has four gigabytes, which is a lot, so you probably will never have to edit this, but you can come in here and 
up it to six, for example, if your computer can handle it. Most people's can't. Four is going to be plenty in this case, so we'd like to see that. Let's go ahead and click Save there, and now we can go back to the Play button. Make sure New Beginnings is selected in the bottom left. Click here and click on New Beginnings if you need to, and then click the green Play button. You will need to say you understand this the risk. Basically, it's just saying that you're not playing vanilla Minecraft, and so if you have a crash or something like that, it's not Mojang's fault, but you know that already. That's okay. So nevertheless, we're now launching this up. It will take minutes. It will take days. No, it will take minutes, like 30 minutes in some cases to open up mod packs. This one's a little lighter than some of the heavy, heavy, heavy feed the beast mod packs, for example. So it won't take as long as some of those, but it still can take 5, 10, 15 minutes to open this. Because of that, I'm just going to do a jump cut and I'll kind of update you through the process. Right now, it's just downloading some final things and then it will start to open. So I'll see you once this download has finished. So once the download has finished, it goes ahead and opens up the early mod loading process for Forge. This is going to be here for who knows how long. It's just going to take some time, but as you can see, officially, or not officially, but eventually, opens up and shows you the more full screen version of Minecraft, set at the resolution that you set earlier. But um, yeah, now we're just again waiting. Just sit back and wait, you know, go, you know, get a soda or go grab a bite to eat, come back and your Minecraft will be open. So anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and do a jump cut to the main menu. You may have this, you know, freeze or whatever. It's okay if it does, just let it sit there and work itself out and then eventually you'll get to the main menu. So this is what I was talking about with the freezing. Literally it says freezing data, but that can sometimes scare people and they think it's going to crash, but it doesn't. And here we are on the main menu. One thing I do need to do is go ahead and turn off sounds. There we go. All right. So nevertheless, here we are. You can definitely tell that New Beginnings is set up. But if we go ahead and click on single player, create a new world, we're just going to make this creative because it's easier and jump on into a brand new world just to show you that this is officially working. We are in game with HR New Beginnings working. It's a pretty simple process to install this, but we still have to make sure that you get it installed. So nevertheless, this is going to again take a minute, a lot longer than you're used to with vanilla Minecraft because it's generating custom biomes and doing all that stuff. So anyway, we'll do a quick jump cut and we'll meet you once we're finally in game. All right, so here we are in game. We have spawned in the middle middle of the, the water. We also have uh, a little bit of like a blueprint kit there. And I believe you have to unlock different, you know, things as time goes on, right? You unlock blueprints and are able to craft stuff and, and everything like that. This is a horrible, horrible seed. As far as I know, the, this is not a water sort of mod there that you can actually you know, find. Uh, we're, in, we're in creative. Let's see if we can find some land. But I don't think you always spawn in the water. Right? I'm pretty sure about that. I think we just got unlucky with this spawn. I might be wrong, though. But um, as far as I understand, you don't always spawn in the water. But maybe maybe you do. Maybe you always spawn in the water and you're on out searching for the endless depths of... Hey, there's a, a temple. A water guardian temple there. Anyway, yeah, there we go. So we finally hit some land. Awesome. So yeah, that is uh, that is how you can get HR New Beginnings. It did take us a while here, but we found some land with... Uh, looks to be maybe a shipwreck. Is that what this is? Yeah, pretty cool stuff. But uh, this adds in new biomes, adds in new stuff like that. And as you can see, here's one of those new biomes right now. We can actually hit F3 and actually see what this biome is. So this is a Biomes of Plenty Meadow. And then, you know, it adds in the Biomes of Plenty biomes as well as, you know, tech mods and different things like that. If we go ahead and hit E, we'll be able to see all the different mods that it adds in. As you can see seven different pages of different mods that are added in here. Absolutely incredible. For example, you search for biomes of plenty, there is that. Just so many different stuff. I think if you just search tools, you're gonna find some different things. So really cool. Love this mod, or love this mod pack because it's like vanilla, it just adds in different stuff, which I like to see. But nonetheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. If you enjoyed getting this mod pack, give it a thumbs up. We helped you get this mod pack, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. And come with this on our own incredible survival server, playdarbreakdowncraft.com. It's truly amazing and I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out.